University did make national headlines a few weeks ago um, with a decision that was made. Actually, our campus newspaper, Fourth Estate, broke the story. Um, Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh was hired to co-teach a class in England. Um, this was obviously met with a lot of controversy. Uh, but can you tell us more about the university's decision to hire Justice Kavanaugh? I am very respectful of, of uh, the many views that are on uh, about, about Justice Kavanaugh, and I don't intend or, or, or pretend that, you know, to, to change anybody's views. Our schools, our colleges, our departments, they have the autonomy to choose their faculty. Some of those decisions, especially tenure and tenure track decisions, they have to go through um, additional filters and committees and eventually go up to the provost and to me and to the board of visitors. But when you're recruiting a, par a part-time professor like this, it stays at the level of the, of, the, of the faculty. The faculty have that capacity to decide what's in the best interest in the, of, the, of the law school. In this case, the law school decided that having a sitting Supreme Court justice teach our students is actually a unique opportunity for them. My decision is not to hire him or not to hire him. My decision is to respect the judgment that the uh, law school faculty have done. They mm -hmm. they know what's best for um, uh, for for the law school. They've decided that this is in the best interest of the students, and I uh, I respect that. What would you say to the students that kind of see this as almost, to put it bluntly, almost a violation of trust when it comes to the efforts being made to prevent sexual assault and just the safety of our campus in general. It is a top priority and I think if any student who's been here for a little while uh, is, I hope, is aware of the efforts that we've been uh, putting in place. We have made major improvements and a, a good sign that we're making improvements is that the reports of sexual assault are up. Now some people say, well, if you have more reports, that means we're doing worse. In this case, is actually, it's normally the opposite. It's getting reported more. Um, it's People getting are reported out. more. Exactly. People feel a little safer, or they feel like the, the, one of the big issues, as you know, with with uh, sexual assault is um, is survivors feel like if I report, I might be victimized again uh, uh, because or people are going to question me or or I'm going to pay a price somehow. But we're fully committed. That doesn't change at all. I mean, uh, I have made it very, very clear. I'm personally involved uh, every year with the pledge. I, I attend the events. I, it's, it's central that even from the top level of the university, we send a message, there is no room for sexual violence on our campus. Uh, one case of rape or sexual violence is one case too many, and we need to do everything that we, that we can. And listen, the fact that the law school decides to recruit anybody to teach a class in the summer, you may agree, you may disagree with that, and I respect those views, but that has absolutely nothing to do with our commitment to, we have to continue to fight uh, to make sure there are no cases of sexual violence in our campus.